Hi again guys, so this, this is actually the trip from Hunapirin to La Junta. Uh, so he, on this trip I had to catch two ferries. So the first ferry was actually just just outside of, I, I was staying just outside of town. And as you can see, I'm the first one on the on the on the boat. Uh, the reason for that is they just wait. If you you can just ride up past all the cars and then just sit near the front, and then they'll get you on the boat pretty much first up. It's the advantage of a motorbike. As you can see, that where I'm where I'm situated um, is they they put all the bikes and anything and any really tiny vehicles like bicycles and stuff like that on the side. So it's best for them to get the bikes on first, then they can bring all the cars up. Um, so there was a big advantage of being first on. Um, I, can, I can tell you, putting my bike on the centre stand um, <laughs> with it fully loaded is not an easy task, especially when the floor is slippery. And uh, even though I was able to do it, uh, I, had, I had a little bit of a helping hand. Um, but yeah, so basically this ferry, the first ferry trip, um, goes, goes a fair way down south and takes around about four hours, um, the, the first ferry trip. That's the longer ferry trip. And then basically you you get on a dirt road and ride for about five, 10 miles, and then you get this little tiny ferry. Um, and with the with the load, that this, these are the views, the spectacular views. Uh, with the load on the, on the ferry, there's only enough, you know, they had to do two, maybe three ferry trips. So. The, the worst part was once we got off the first ferry, I was, you know, in the first 20 to 30 vehicles off. But anyone else who'd made that trip before, what they were is they were in a massive rush. So basically it was a dirt and dust bowl from there and I could hardly see anything. I kept backing off the cars because I couldn't see anything because everyone was racing to get to the next ferry uh, which was um, a, a lot smaller ferry. Could, you know, it would have been three trips, I imagine, to get all the cars. So everyone who missed the first ferry would have had to wait probably about an hour to get the second ferry, maybe a little bit less. It was only about a 20 minute short ferry ride. And then you hit the dirt again um, to go, uh, hit, the, hit the dirt road again, and then you can just go as far as you want. Um, so the first ferry was about four, four and a half hours. It was really nice, really relaxing. The weather wasn't amazing, but it was a couple of light showers. And then we hit the dirt road again and everyone was just in a race. It was a race because the second ferry is a short ferry and it only has a certain amount of capacity. So there's probably up to three different rides you had to wait at the, at, back at it. So everyone was just racing and to get to the second ferry and there was just dust everywhere. And so I was just sitting back. Um, and luckily enough, because I'm on a motorbike, I was able to get onto the first ferry, just right up the front of all the line of cars. And I got onto the first ferry. But as you can see, this is the dirt road. And um, yeah, so it was a bit of a mad rush to get there. But I, once on a moto, you can just go right in front. So, you know, who cares? But everyone was just in a mad rush. I had four wheel drives going past me. I was sitting in the middle of the lane and one went on the inside of me, it was just madness. So I just pulled over to the side, just rode really slowly and just try to make sure that I had cars in front of me and just if someone overtook me, I just dropped back again. It was crazy, but um, it was all over within 10 miles and I just rode, rode up to the front. I was lucky enough, there was a big line and they were waiting to load and I just rode up the front and they just waved me straight on. So this is the second ferry a lot smaller and it just takes you for, for maybe 10 miles and that's it about a 20 25 minute ride and then you get off and uh, once we got off uh, the couple that I met um, here's the couple we just went to that cafe Caleta Gonzalo and had some lunch and as you can imagine it was pretty well overpriced and uh, not much service it's actually um, the, the, the cabanas there as well. Um, uh, Caleta Cabana, uh, Caleta Gonzalo Cabanas, or Cabanas Caleta Gonzalo. But not much of a place, and I'm sure it's ridiculously overpriced. But we had a nice soup and, and something to eat there, and then, then I got moving on. Uh, they were two up, so they were a little bit slower. Um, but not much slower, you know, they, he was a pretty experienced rider. Um, but they were really, really cool couple. Um,
Um, and yeah, so I kept going. I think they they um, stopped in a town called Shatton. Um, uh, I kept going. That town at Shatton was, uh, you know, in 2008, it was basically buried by a volcano eruption. Um, and it's been rebuilt, not all the way, uh, but the problem was is that not that it, it just got covered in ash and then what happened was the river was so much ash went into the river that the river rose and then flooded the town with mud and silt. So most of the houses were two or three metres of mud and silt that covered them. So they've been rebuilding it ever since then and there's quite a bit of reconstruction. So it looks fairly modern, the, the little town. But they were, they were looking for a, uh, for a cabana there to stay the night. I just kept going um, to a place called La Junta and then looked for a cabana there. Uh, there was nothing as far as on any of the accommodation sites. And it was like a 10, 10, 10 and a half hour day from start to finish by, by the time I started riding and then waited for the ferry, got on the ferry and then kept riding. But it wasn't a lot of miles done. At 250 kilometres or something for the day and a lot of that was done at the ferry. Uh, so only probably about 100, 150 kilometres of riding. Um, this is uh, Shaitan, uh, the town. Um, everything was booked out in that town. I, I might have stayed there as well, but uh, I kept going to La Junta. And I had, I had a fair bit of problems. I, I spent probably about an hour looking for a place in La Junta and ended up going into a little grocery store and asking them and then they ran somebody and then someone came around and then took me to their cabana. Um, so it was pretty much dark by the time I got in and uh, got settled in. Just basically had a little local food um, and, uh, and then settled in for the night uh, to get going a little bit further down south. Uh, but I, you're right amongst it now. It was uh, after that ferry, I, I didn't have to catch a ferry now until I got to uh, Ushuaia and, uh, and I was pretty, pretty keen to get to see some of the sights around and get some glaciers and stuff like that. So I was right in it. I was, you know, I, I'd planned to return back to the US um, by by March, by middle of March. So I was sort of on track, and, and I was able to now, now relax a little bit um, and just take in all the, you know, all the different roads and some people there just on the side of the road. You'll find this a lot as you get further south. Everybody wants. Um, Everybody's looking for a ride. You know, there's a lot of young kids that are going on, uh, you know, doing it on the cheap and just trying to hitchhike everywhere. Not a lot of cars. Um, it was quite funny actually because when once I got on the dirt roads, I met a couple of girls that were that were hiking and uh, just stopped and said hello and asked them if they needed anything to drink or anything like that. And then uh, and then I then I kept going and uh, but then they overtook me a little bit later. And it was funny because. There was two guys waiting on the side of the road just before them to get a lift and they didn't get a lift but the girls did so the locals if you're a girl you'll 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 get looked after pretty well uh, on the trip but if you if you're guys you know um you know i've spoken with a few people and you know they used to use the trick where the guy would sit down and the girl would be the maybe a little bit out of view of the road and the girl would put a thumb out for hitchhike and the guy would stop and then think oh great pretty girl to drive with for a little while and then, uh, and then all of a sudden, a guy comes out from the, from the, you know, from sitting down and gets in as well. So, um, you, you use the tools you have, you know. Um, but yeah, so right from here, I, I had probably about um, yeah, 40 or 50 miles of really nice road, and then the road stopped uh, being nice and went to a dirt road again. And then, uh, and then back once I got to the Junta, the road was. Was, uh, was nice again. Um, yeah, the main highways you really don't want to be, uh, you don't want them to, this is Route 7, you don't want them to be dirt, uh, only because, um, you know, there's a lot more traffic on the you know, dirt, and with the dirt roads, you, it's a lot more fun when you take the back roads, and you you end up having, um, you know, not, not a lot of traffic, so you can, you know, dick around a fair bit. You know, practice a few little, you know, practice, you know, doing a few turns around the corner, you know, swing turns around the corner and get let, let the back of the bike out and stuff like that. Um, I didn't have, I'm not really that experienced at that, but I was able to do it on the fairly softer stuff. Um, 
and you know, the bike just basically kicks back in line. But it's a bit of fun. But when you, yeah, the, 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 the main roads where there's a lot of traffic, you just don't want them to be dirt because you're just getting shit kicked up in here all the time by the trucks going past. Um, but yeah, so it was, the weather was a bit all over the place for the last part of the trip. Um, it was raining a little bit, then it, then it got fine again. But the, basically you follow the river, this river all the way along, all the way into uh, La Junta. And then I spent, as I said before, I spent about an hour looking for a place to stay the night. Um, and then the next trip, well, I was going to be staying for two or three nights in a place. So I was looking forward to get there and then basically get unpack the bike and get a lighter bike so we can go off road and explore a little bit more. But uh, this was a it was a fun ride, you know. Um, you know, I'm starting to see a few more adventure riders. Look at that, it's amazing. Um, a few more adventure riders along the way, and you, it takes you a little bit longer because you end up stopping for like, you know, 10, 20 minutes each time you meet one. But it's always interesting to see where they come from, where they're going to, you know. And so a couple of riders stopped and uh, took a photo of me. They couldn't believe how much shit I had on my bike. But, uh, yeah, that's all good. But I stopped off and, yeah, uh, on the side of the road and uh, a couple of rivers there. I just drove, rode off the road into to the river and just relaxed for a little while. Had plenty of time, so I, I just wanted to get there before dark. But anyway, guys, questions or comments below, happy to help.